For immunoassays such as Western blot, ELISA, and immunohistochemistry, the target protein or antigen is identified using a primary antibody that binds to the specific epitope on the target protein. This protein can be detected in one of two ways, either directly detected by using a primary antibody that is conjugated to a detectable enzyme or fluorophore, or indirectly detected by using a labeled secondary antibody that binds to the primary antibody. Unlike the former approach, indirect detection allows multiple secondary antibodies to bind to each primary antibody, resulting in signal amplification. Indirect detection strategies use antibodies made in different host species in order to restrict antibody binding to the intended target. For example, let's say you want to probe a human cell lysate for actin, and your primary antibody is a mouse anti-actin antibody, which means that the antibody was collected from a mouse and specifically binds to actin. You look in your lab's secondary antibody box and find a rabbit anti-mouse antibody, which was collected from a rabbit and will recognize the primary mouse antibody. And the enzyme or fluorophore will allow you to detect the actin in the sample.